<laughs> man, I ain't even gonna lie to you, though, man. Like, however you feel towards this dude that I'm about to talk about, who is King Von. <clears throat> however, you know, a lot of, it's a lot of disrespect going towards his name. You know, I myself used to diss King Von, you know, when I was, you know, a little bit more ignorant. You know what I'm saying? I used to, you know, diss motherfuckers. It, you know, a lot of motherfuckers, oh, but you didn't know him. You didn't know him. But, you know, nigga still, still, he he, he lame as hell for not wanting to end the GDBD war. You know what I'm saying? But, fuck the personal shit. However you feel towards this nigga, you cannot deny this nigga was a, a hip-hop genius. You know what I'm saying? Like, his D, his beat makers, A+. Plus. His producer, A+. Plus. Whoever got something to do with his sound. Sound choreographer, A+. Plus. You know what I'm saying? Like, the nigga inspired me to do, uh, took her to the E. You know? Like I took, I you know, took the beat. Don't tell his manager, the nigga might sue me. Took the beat, he made took it to eat. You know what I'm saying? So I give props for props to do. Like I ain't mad. Like I don't. I'm not glad King Von is dead because I want to hear some more of that music. You know, I don't listen to the Tuka disses. I don't fuck with the Tuka disses, really. I mean, if he said it, he said it. You know what I'm saying? Because I tolerate Chief Keith saying that shit. So I don't know what would be different about Von, but. You know, I, I don't really fuck with a lot of his disses, his diss tracks, cause that was, cause that in that time of the of the era. See, I can listen to Chief Keith, cause that was just that time. It was appropriate. You know, niggas was on bullshit. That was just the trend. But now we in the time where niggas niggas should have just came together for that money sake. You know, Duck was like, "Yo, it's about money. Like, let's show these motherfuckers we can act. We can act as black people with some sense." You know, Vine wasn't mature enough to grab to grip that. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's why I don't like hearing him diss, because I wish he'd have made that difference. Do you know how dope, do you know how fucking raw a FBG Duck and King Von collaboration would have been if they really could get over that shit somehow? Come on, man. Like, for real, man. It's not that. Man. Come on, man. That shit would have. Come on, bro. I ain't even gotta say no more. Say say no more on that. At all, like. You know, but, you know. That nigga, bro, was bringing back that real sound, that real flow, that '90s flow. Now I wanna say '90s, just real flow. Period. But you do gotta put a timestamp on it, cause in time, the you know, bullshit bullshit has come about and rap has changed a bit. You know. But Von rap from an era, Von style sound like he comes from that era where niggas don't wear dresses. And see, that's what makes the niggas so fucking raw. Because he's in an era where motherfucking rappers wear dresses and do all that weird other shit. And he's still keeping that shit authentic in the midst of weirdos. Like Lil Nas X. Shit like that. He was still keeping the shit raw, authentic, and real. And you got to credit that you can't sleep on that. I don't care if you hate his guts. You can't sleep on that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real. You know, just like L.A., you, you can hate L.A., that nigga was raw. Just like a motherfucker from the B.D. side can hate Duck. Duck was raw as hell, still. Duck had different style for every song, different ad-libs. The nigga was crazy, like, come on, man, you gotta give credit with credit dude. But King Von, he gets musical flowers all day, every day. The bars, you know, like, you ain't see that boy in three days that's that he missing shit. Now that's that fishy shit. Von told a 50 clip. Plus my gun been through some shit like Bernie Mac, bitch, who you with? Like, shit, come on, man. You can't you can't sleep on that shit, man. And that shit's better than Young Boy. That shit's better than anything Young Boy can come up with. Lil' Tim, he raw too. Lil' Tim can flow his ass off too. He's got to do more shit so he can get past, get past Von level. Because he can because Von's gone. You know what I'm saying? But musically, Tim is not past Vine's level right now. Vine get that A-plus with the music, you know, flow. More importantly, the flow and the, the hip-hop. Like, his lyrics, that shit potent. That shit pulling, you know what I'm saying? That shit socking. 
lyrics is on 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 fire like that. It's flavor in that, you know. So saucy spit wasn't bullshit. You know what I mean? Like you can't sleep on it. Period. You know, and it's sad what happened. I ain't glad the nigga did. Even though I did diss him, like I did a freestyle called Smoking V-Roy. It's a, called that. You know what I'm saying? Like. And I was mad at him because he wouldn't squash the beef, man. And that affected the black community, period. Now motherfuckers still looking at Chicago like stupid motherfuckers. Because you ain't want to help the peace. You know what I'm saying? So, so it's like, now it's like, fuck it. All you can do is appreciate the music he left. And wish he was here to make more of it. You know what I'm saying? But y'all know what it is. Street Live of ENT Part 2, bitch. Fuck you talking about.